Dooley Noted, 10-29-2017. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here in Long Island City at my home with the amazing puppy. This is Ricky. He's helping me with some grip training on a lazy Sunday. Um, my husband is not very lazy. <laughs> he's very relaxed, but he's a, a grip athlete. His name is Jonathan Fernandez, and he's taught me a lot about using your casual free time, not only for breathing training, but also for uh, just getting all of the, the tissues of, of the hands and arms uh, very um, in tune to all three ranges of motion. And you can do that uh, while you're relaxing, while you're watching television, or while you're listening to podcasts, or even reading. You can uh, just use a five gallon bucket and uh, put some very inexpensive rice inside. Uh, if you live near the beach, you can even use sand. Uh, we don't have a ton of access to that here in New York City. Uh, and we like to do more uh, high volume stuff with the rice. So um, what you can do is you can work each individual range of motion of the hand. You can work flexion, extension. You can work um, adduction and abduction. And you can work opposition, reposition. Um, not only can you work the intrinsics of the hand, but you can get the wrists involved, as well as uh, maintain a nice neutral elbow to get the scapulothoracic joint involved. Since so many wrist and finger problems actually root to scapulothoracic joint dysfunction, uh, it's really important to keep your shoulder stabilized. So I'll show you a couple of different drills that you can do uh, for very cheap, and you can do it uh, during your copious free time, you know, or even just do it while you're watching television. So you can start by taking your hands and you push them in the bucket. And you can go as deep as you feel uh, like you can uh, keep the wrist relatively neutral. And you want to first work flexion, which is the x-axis or sagittal plane here. And then you work into extension. So it's flexion and then extension is gonna widen out like this. So extension and then flexion and extension. And then you can work add and abduction, which is true coronal plane movement. So we'll go in and do abduction, spreading the fingers apart, and then spreading the fingers closer together to adduct. So abduction and adduction. Then for opposition reposition, we can do that too. We can start in a um, reposed position, and I'm sorry, op opposed position. So we can oppose and repose, and then repose, oppose. After you get um, that done, what you can actually do is dive in, and you can actually get your scapulothoracic joint involved. So this means you're going to actually protract or shove your weight away from your shoulder. Rather than squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back and let them raise, we're gonna depress the shoulder blade and let it reach forward. This is extremely functional. Uh, not a lot of people train uh, their, their protraction involving the hands. It's really good for people that do a lot of crawling and also uh, do a lot of quadruped work. Um, this is great training to be able to get the digits more involved in your crawling. So you keep that scapula pushed against the shoulder blade making sure not to raise up the elbows and not to raise up the shoulders. You're just basically keeping everything relatively neutral through the arm. And you're doing the same things that you were doing before. Abduction, adduction. Reposition and opposition. Flexion and extension. And you can go as deep as you want. If you're getting pretty good, you can actually do quick repetitions and go a little bit lower into the bucket where there's a little bit more resistance and come in and out of it and you could just grip and then push away you never want to do just flexion or just extension just abduction just adduction you want to make sure that you're getting pretty good at being able to do both both directions on all three planes so it seems relatively simple but it's a nice little workout to find out what you're weak at it's also uh, extremely good for keeping all of the, uh, the tendons and the joints uh, relatively mobile, as well as coupling it with stability and strength. Um, if the rice gets too easy and it's not a challenge for you anymore, um, you can always move to something a little bit more dense like sand. Uh, I hope this is helpful and I hope you put it to work. Um, if you wanna see more of what we do with the hands, we do have an amazing seminar coming up. It's called Immaculate Dissection Four and it involves hand and jaw and how they relate to um, the body as well as intrinsic hand and intrinsic foot. So we hope you come check it out in December uh, 2017 at Catalyst Court. Uh, until next time, uh, this is Dr. Kathy Dooley. See ya.